Hey guys, oh my god, I know I'm literally wearing the same outfit and makeup as my last video, but I decided to film two videos in one day, you know, kind of do some time management. So that is why I have the same look on. Anyway, so in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Benefit, what is this called? The Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is somewhat new. I know they came out with the pen, which everyone has been like obsessed with. Everyone has been trying to like review. I didn't really like how the pen looked like. I went to Sephora yesterday and I bought some products. And I don't know, the pen just really doesn't, doesn't feel like it would be my vibe. So I was like, let's try something different because from Benefit, I usually use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, I believe. It's the one that kind of looks like a Sharpie marker type of thing. And I saw this one came out and this one is supposed to be a super thin point, like ultra, ultra thin to be the perfect product to give you hair-like strokes. And that's why the point is so tiny so you can kind of just make fake little marks. So I thought that would be really cool to try out. Me and my brows have a weird relationship, you guys. I kind of jump around from brow product. I don't really have a favorite. I sometimes use the Maybelline one, Pop Beauty, BH Cosmetics, Anastasia. I kind of just bounce around. There's, there's nothing that's really like my go-to. So I thought I would try this out. My brows, I'm not the best at doing my brows, you guys. I will, I will admit that. But I did try my best. And yeah, that's what we're going to be reviewing today, just kind of working it out. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment down below what your favorite brow product is from Benefit, whether that's a gel, the pomade, the pens, whatever you guys like from Benefit. Comment that down below what your favorite brow product is. Don't forget to subscribe, por favor. That would mean a lot to me. I want to reach 40k soon. And let's jump right into this review. So I try to fix the lighting as best as I could, you guys. I'm not a fan of this backdrop. Like, I really don't. I'm trying to get into backdrops because I know they're, like, pretty. And they look nice when you're doing, like, different colors and stuff. But I just don't like it. This is, like, an orange backdrop. But for some reason on camera, it looks like it's a light peach. Like, really, I wish you guys could see how neon this color is, like, can you guys see? Like, I don't understand what my camera is doing. <laughs> I don't have any makeup on right now. I don't have anything on my brows, which is why they look like this. Hello. These are my real brows. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. I don't have a problem with my brows. Like, yes, they're, like, kind of sparse. They're kind of light. But it's, like, pretty easy to fill up. It's just kind of, like, the front part that's a little bit difficult to make it look natural because I'm not the best at brows. I will admit that. But I feel like I have a nice brow shape. I haven't gotten my brows done in probably, like, a year and a half. I don't really like to go get my eyebrows done. Hold on. I gotta put some chapstick on. So I went to Sephora yesterday to pick up a new brow product. So I'm always kind of like switching back and forth between brows. But I do like how the Benefit one works. So I was like, let's go back in there, pick it up. I saw they came out with like a pen one. Um, but they were sold out and it kind of looked weird. So I was like, you know what, let's try this one. This one looks a little bit more interesting. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. It has like a very pointed tip. So basically with this brow pencil, the cool thing about this is that it's smudge proof, which I feel like they claim on all their other brow products as well. You have like a custom control grip with the packaging. It's a twist up. You don't have to sharpen this. You don't have to go through the hassle of doing that as well. And it's supposed to last for 12 hours. It's supposed to like literally mimic hair like strokes. That is why the point is like so defined and very ultra thin because they want you to be able to do those like fake strokes and you need a really pointed and thin uh, product to be able to recreate that. The color that I am in is 4.5 which I don't know what color that is I believe it's like deep brown or dark brown and I got the mini one to try it out first before I buy the full size one the mini one was I believe $14 the full size one was $24 I'll have everything linked down below if you guys are interested no more talking you guys let's just try this brow product all right so then I'm going to take the benefits precisely my brow pencil I have the mini one which is why it's so tiny usually with my brow I like to start like at the bottom right here where the how do you know how to call this like the middle part the angle and I like to kind of fill this part up first and then I kind of do like super light strokes and I kind of just start moving it up I always start in the middle I feel like that's just like the best place for me to start kind of just like shapes what I want to do and then I just kind of start doing like feather like strokes downwards wherever the hair is facing that's the strokes that I do it so if it's like facing this way I do it this way if it's facing up I do it up okay so then I always go back in with my spoolie and I kind of just blend that product out and then here, like you guys can see right there, I have like such a weird gap. 
I usually just like fill that in as well and just kind of like fake it. So then once I get to the front part, that is like the part where I like want to use this precisely for the reason that it was made to make the hair like stroke so it looks as natural as possible because definitely in the front part is where I struggle the most to not make it look boxy, you know, chola brows, we don't want that. See how there's already like a little point up there? See how it's already kind of angled? I'm going to take the sharp part and that is what I'm going to use to create the hair like strokes. So like I said, since the hairs right here are pointing kind of diagonal this way, like they're kind of being brought up this way, that is how the strokes that I'm going to do are going to be facing. They're going to be, let's just like, they're going to be like that to make it look like hairs like that. So that is what I'm going to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm just going to lightly go through it to get rid of any excess product. So I literally take such a light touch and I point my brush upward like this to mimic the hair strokes. Okay, so let me tour you through my brow real quick before I go ahead and go in with some concealer or some foundation to clean it up. So this is what it looks like non-cleaned. You know, I tried my best to do some hair-like strokes to make it kind of work with what this brow pencil is supposed to do. Um, I'm not the best at brows, like I said. I'm not ashamed of it. So yeah, this is what it looks like pre-concealed. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some, where is it? I'm going to take some Clinique 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. And this is what I'm going to use to conceal my brow using a Morphe B41 concealer brush. And I like it because it like fits perfectly underneath here and it's just like the best like thing to clean up your concealer, your eyebrows. Alright, so I'm like 50-50 about the brows right now. It could be like my own fault or it could be the product. I don't know. I think it's probably my fault. <laughs> that sounds most likely true. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow. I'm just going to do the same things that I did right now. You know, do light strokes, work from the bottom to the top, and then clean up with some concealer. And I will be right back for the final look of how it looks like. Alright, you guys, so this is what the brows look like once I finished off the rest of my makeup. I kind of just did like a little bronze effect type of situation. I'm wearing this purple lip color from Pop Beauty. It's the Topper Popper in Violet Popper. <laughs> That is a tongue twister. I thought it would just be kind of nice to add like a spice of color to this bronze makeup look But anyways back to the brows. I really like this brow product you guys. I think it looks very nice I know I'm kind of far away, but you guys kind of saw how it looks like up close. I think it looks really nice Is it like the most life-changing product in the world for your brows? I don't think so This is definitely something I'm still gonna keep in my kit I'm glad I bought the mini size just to kind of keep trying it out The thing I do like about this is how tiny the the tip is I know I was kind of worried about that because I thought I was gonna break it but if you're careful you're not gonna break it or waste product but I do think that it changed how the inner part of my eyebrow looks like which is something that I really really look for in a brow product like I said I think you guys should get the mini one first because it is like the least expensive version just to kind of try it out before you commit to the full size and pay like the full $26 or however much it was yeah let me know down below what your thoughts are on this product if you guys have tried it or which of the benefit brow products is your go-to one and works really well for you or any tips that you guys have for doing better brows. I would love to know that down below. So, yes, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Follow the rest of my social media. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.